Are you, are you security here, are you? Uh, you don't sound too confident about that. Are you, are you need permission to record people, it's a GDPR requirement, so... Okay, you should have to, under the Data Protection Act, you have to ask for my permission. Do you know who that applies to? Yeah. Yes, I do. Who does that apply to? All good. Hello. Do you want to switch me over here? Oh, Rob, we can talk here. So I just want to make sure it's not saying no pork here. So I'm not, I won't interrupt. I just, I just want to make sure the truth's being told. So. Are you, uh, I'll, I'll ask that, mate. Are you one of these order to type folks? Sorry, I can't hear what you're saying. I'll talk to you in a minute, mate. Oh, cheers. Yes, guys. Uh, found somewhere different to do that I've not done before. So I was coming past and uh, noticed this. Um, site here, which as I went past, I saw some Amazon Prime vehicles, some vans. So I'm just going to come check this site out. Really, it's quite a big site. So I'm guessing this is just outside Exeter, by the way. Um, so we've got like a sort of business park sort of area. Uh, we've got DPD over there in the distance. Um, but this is an Amazon Logistics Center. It's DEX2. So, it's a big old site. I got barriers, but the barriers are wide open. It says uh, no pedestrian access there. Amazon Flex. So yeah, it's quite a uh, quite a big site. Got a few uh, workers down there in the distance. So here's uh, these car parks meant to be reverse parking only. So far, looks like everybody is, which is good. So the weather's not very nice out today. Um, it's a bit rainy, a bit windy. Uh, so. Hi then. Yeah, I'm all good, mate. I can't hear ya. Hi then. Just doing a little video around the area. Pardon? Who say that? Who say that? I say that. Are you working here? No, I don't work here, no. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not on your property, I'm on the public access. But, yeah. are, you, are you security here, are you? Uh, you don't sound too confident about that. Are you, are you security here or are you not? Yeah, You're security, that's all right, that's cool. Just wondering. But no, it's fine, I'm just, uh, just doing a little video around the area. I've just uh, come past. Notice the Amazon site here, looks like quite a big site, it's quite interesting. So, yeah, just doing a little video around. Alright, cool. There's uh, talking to me, telling me not to film. But... So, just uh, so don't film me, man. But... Yeah, so it's uh, got the fire assembly point just out the front here. So when I first asked him if it was security, he was just like, uh, yeah. And he was like, doesn't sound too confident <laughs> whether he is or not. But he said, and he says he is, so. Uh, yeah, it's a big old site, this one. So I think this must be where they load up all the vans and that ready to go out for deliveries.
interesting site. It's huge. Uh, now the gate's just wide open and locked, that's all. So I'm have a wonder. But... Yeah, bud. What's that, sorry? Can't hear you. Not allowed to film in here? Oh, okay, so this gate was wide open, so that's all. But so if the gate's open, it's probably accessible, isn't it? Are you telling me I'm not allowed to be here? Alright, bud, no worries. Should keep, keep the gate locked though, because anybody can walk in. right yeah uh, here's some things about Amazon working for Amazon it? yeah so uh, so you get some bad reviews and that but got to let you have time to piss yeah that's all right then. <laughs> that's the main thing here is they don't let you have time to even piss open. Uh. So I thought this was like, so pretty secure, there's two gates now that are wide open there. But as soon as I have been asked not to go on there once, that is how I will leave it. Chappy does actually have an SIA bat license on him, on his coat. But being approached now from the right, I think. Hey, yeah. Uh. Can you stop recording, please, so I can have a discussion with you? Why can't you have a discussion with me while I'm recording? Because you're not allowed to record on our premises. What's your name, Jamie? So my name's Jamie. I'm nice the to meet. Ops manager for Amazon Logistics in the southwest. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I just uh, inquire what you're up to? Just making a little video around the area, to be honest. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that on our property. So if you could do it from off our property, that's is that against the law? Is it? It's it's not. Yes, it's not allowed for us to be for you to be filming. On is that against site. the law? Or is that a policy? It's be our policy. Yes. Do I work for you? No. Do I but sign I, up to your policies? No, but I would encourage you if you could not. I'll, I'll report it up in terms of civil authorities if you continue to... Okay, that's fine. There's not, there's not a lot they can do about it either. Yeah, but if you could not 
walk around anywhere near our, in, anywhere and record any of our buildings. But there's a public reception there. You need permission to record people. It's a GDPR requirement. So GDPR. I don't, I don't give you permission to utilise. You know GDPR. Do you know who GDPR applies to? Pretty much everybody. Organisations. Yeah. I'm not an organisation. I'm a person. Okay. Doesn't apply to me. Well, I, okay, fine. I'll leave you with our security team. Go for it. And so they just need to know you're not allowed. You're trespassing currently on our property. Cool. So, you so where's your property line end? So uh, begin, sorry. Up against this, if you can just stay to the so end. Of so when the bricking starts, yes. that's your property. On the, if you stand on that path on the other side, you're, you're good to go. Okay, cool. All right, well, as soon as I've been asked to leave, I will leave. Um, That's really kind of you, thank you. But obviously, trespassing is a civil matter. Until I've been asked to leave your property, then yeah. it's not trespassing. No, so but now you've asked, I will leave. That's, That's really fine. Kind. But um, again, I, I will still be recording from the yeah. public footpath. Yeah, yeah, of course you um, can. But yeah, it's. Uh, is there anything I can help you with at all? No, not at all. It's literally just coming past. It's just like a really big site. I didn't know it was out here. So is this uh, for the whole of South West's depot? No, or is so this, this is just for this sort of extra area. Just for the extra yeah, area, yeah. is so it? We have multiple sites across the region. This okay. Is one of them. There you go. Interesting, yeah. yeah. I just go around all sorts of places making videos and other things that I find interesting, really. Yeah, um, yeah that's fine. Yeah. Not a problem. If you want me to leave, I'll go stand over there. Uh, no yes, if you, you could, I'm more than happy if you to record just off the premises. Yep. Yeah, no problem. All right, no worries. Cheers, yeah. Amy. Thanks very much. Leave me in the hands of the security here. But so I got both of them uh, coming out here now. See, this is where uh, times like this where I wish I had a drone on me because what I would have said to Jamie is that that's fine I'll go stand over there and I'll take a drone up over but um, obviously I don't have a drone to take over unfortunately Yeah, but I'm gonna go have a walk around the rest of this uh, business park up here and see what else is around. Yeah, so I had a bit of a walk up there. Um, there's not a lot really going on up there. It's a lot of just construction work. Nothing really you can access or see. Not bothered about filming people while they're doing construction work. But I did just notice an Eon site. So I'm gonna mosey on down to the Eon site. Did notice there's quite a lot of ambulances in that parked in the back of this one. So, as you can see there, so there's ambulances and stuff. So I'm not really sure. what the ambulances are there for, whether that's just the site where they drive out from.
around it. Go ahead on elsewhere. Go back to the uh, Eon Sancti. Hopefully through here, of course, computer screens on display, computer screens on display, that's not good. Right there, no. it's a sort of back of house sort of area. Keep in mind, everywhere I've walked so far, there's not been any signage saying no pedestrian access, uh, no unauthorised access, or anything like that. But yeah, those uh, computer screens there should not be on display. You all right? Yeah, I just uh, noticed as I'm walking around, all your computer screens in the office there, they're all facing the window. That's uh, quite a breach of GDPR. Obviously, I don't know what you record on those computers, there's any, any personal information on those screens. Obviously, that's a huge breach of GDPR. Are you I am at the moment, yeah. You do have to ask for my permission if you want to record me. Of course, I don't. Okay, yes, you do have to. Under the Data Protection Act, you have to ask for my permission. Do you know who that applies okay. to? Yes, I do. Who does that apply to? Organisations. Yeah, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm recording from a public place. So that's uh, Karen there from uh, Eon. I would say that it's protected by Eon, by Karen from Eon. So I saw her telling a couple of other people that I was here. Um, so what do we do? Oh yeah. No. Your door's open down there, by the way. But I could walk in that door, you know. I'll walk in. <laughs> now they're panicking. Let's see if they can close that door. Keep in mind that not a single person has actually asked me to leave. The lens just got a bit of rain on it, I think. Bear with me, guys. So I cleared it up a bit, there we go. Yeah, so that door down there is wide open. I just told him that, you know, obviously I can walk right in that door. But. So yeah, they're going to call 
999 for a man with a camera. around here see what Karen's <laughs> blinds we got blinds and then yeah no I certainly haven't got blinds or anything but that's it Karen don't want to use her computer while I'm here Somebody went down and closed that door down there, which is good. If anything, what I've done here today is alerted them to a security breach. I could have been anybody with nefarious intent. I could have just walked straight into that building and done anything, all sorts. I have a feeling they're going to be calling the police. So what we'll do is just uh, hang around a little bit. I'm good, mate. Just... Well, for the moment, I'm waiting for the police. I think they've called the police. Uh, they've... Well, because I was recording, I told them that they're breaking GDPR, and then they got all funny. Um... Sorry, what's your profession? Pardon? What's your profession? My profession? Profession. Photographer. Photographer? Yeah, yeah. She's probably property. You've got no right to be here. Publicly accessible. Yeah, all right, mate. Property. It's publicly accessible, though. No, I'm sorry. Uh, again, he told me it's private property, which we're uh, obviously unaware of. But it is publicly accessible. So he's in van BR19VOM. So.
So as I was saying before the uh, video cut out, the water got on my screen again. Uh, it's left the door open, but he's in and out, so that's fine. Uh, as long as when he goes, he closes the door, really. Unfortunately, guys, got a lot of Karens and Kens here at Eon. Uh, didn't like the fact that they were breaking ZDPR, so I decided to call the police. Call the police for a man with a camera when they're the ones that are breaking the law. Oh, talking of which, that'll be the police officers there. Good night, yeah? Yeah, I know. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, you crack on, mate. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you talk to them first, they called you. So they find out what's going on. Yeah, just as I was about to uh, head out. Uh, yeah. 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 Y
is uh, not telling no porkies. Oh, good. Hello. Do you want to talk to me over here? Oh, Rob, I'll talk here. I just want to make sure it's not saying no porkies. So I won't interrupt. I just want to make sure it's truth being told. So. Are you? Uh, I'll, I'll ask that. Are you one of these order type folks? Sorry, I can't hear what you're saying. I'll talk to you in a minute, mate. Oh, cheers. <laughs> he believes I've made an uh, entry to the premises, apparently. <laughs> Telling lies, but it's all on CCTV because they got CCTV all over the building. So. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, yeah just move out the road to it. That's cool. That's just around the area, doing a little uh, recording out in public. Um, went down to Amazon and walk around the site up there. Uh, it was a business park site. Noticed the Eon site here, had a walk around, went down to the exit of the North Airport bit down there. Mm -hmm. Had a walk around, noticed they had, uh, as I was walking up just over there, they had one of their doors wedged open. Uh, and so I was going to go up to the reception to tell them that it was open. Obviously, it's a security risk for them. Because yeah. um, I noticed on the way down to the airport bit, yeah. on the way back up, it was still open. So I thought I'd let them know. Um, so the door was locked, so I was going to go around, knock on their window and let them know. Yeah. I had to go around there. Obviously, they were on the screens now. They saw me, came to the door and said, I said to them, uh, just noticed while they're there, obviously they're breaching GDPR because their computer screens are all facing the window for a, for a publicly accessible point, which is a breach of GDPR on their part. As soon as I mentioned that, she just got funny and said, oh, you can't record, you can't you have permission to record me and all that. And I said, you know, hey, I don't need the permission to record you. In a, um, yeah. So in a public place, you don't. No, exactly. It's a private place, it is, which that is, is, that is private. Practice. Yeah, if it's I were conditional access. No, that's it. Yeah, but it, 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 if they've uh, asked you to leave and stop recording. But the thing is, no, nobody's, recording. nobody, not once has asked me to leave. Okay. If um, that's what you're going to say. Then yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all, it's all recorded. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's civil trespass. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't mean I can't. Doesn't mean I, I can't record. That's into the realm of like aggravated trespass and things. Like that. But ultimately, I, I just want to make sure that there's not any issues down here. Yeah. No. They've decided to call us. Yeah. At some point, I think. Yeah, I'm not saying what has or hasn't happened, but somebody yeah. said they might have felt intimidated by your presence. Yeah. Obviously. Well, I can say I feel intimidated yeah. by yours, you know. Yeah, you so, that, yeah. you know what I mean? No, I totally get what you're saying. If you're on a private premises and somebody else feels intimidated and as a result yeah. of their lawful activities, regardless of what you're yeah. going to say about GDPR. Like yeah, yeah. If lawful activities are being disturbed, well, it's not lawful. Yeah, so it's not lawful yeah. if they're breaching yeah, GDPR, is it? Like but um, yeah, so. but I'm not stopping them from doing anything. No, you yeah. know. Uh, they're, they're saying they've felt uh, like that. Uh, I wasn't here. I don't yeah. know why they're saying that. No, literally. I mean, as soon, as soon as they didn't want to talk to me, I saw them pick up the phone. Like one of them opened the door after the first person. Just looked at me, said no, and I saw them pick up the phone. So I knew they were going to call me. So I, I just stood there and waited for you guys because if they're going to waste your time bringing you out here, I don't want your time further wasted like, searching around the area for me. So I'll wait around and do with it. Yeah, I just, I just do videos for YouTube, yeah. So. Uh, power to the proletariat. Uh, go to get some badge numbers for you. So you've got 7220 You're based at Exeter Police Station here. Oh, you're Honiton Police Station. Oh, I'm a Honiton boy, born and raised. Uh, okay. My suggestion, my friend, is obviously I'm asking you to leave the area yeah, now. Yeah. This is obviously going to be private land. Yeah, yeah. additional access the public have. I would suggest they've now withdrawn that access. They haven't told me that. Okay. We can find that if we need to. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to ask you to leave the area. But you can't ask me to leave the area. And that's as a dispersal okay, order they, in place. If they've then withdrawn your permission to be here, but they need to, they, they need to inform to they the need area. to inform me of that, don't they? You're, you're not a uh, you're not a person of their business. I, I, they I need to inform if they, that. If they've asked me to basically say that you're not. Yeah, but they haven't told you that, yet, have they? No, they so, haven't. so you can't ask me to leave no. and you say it was such a time. Yeah, yeah, that, no. exactly. So, so yeah, yeah. Ultimately, mate, I I totally get yeah. why you do the things that you do. Sometimes yeah, yeah. you do get certain officers that are dicks and yeah, yeah. don't do things that they should be doing. I'm not here to give you a hard time. Cool. But, um, I said, uh, yeah, that's fine. If, uh, if you find out they don't want me on their property. Uh, do, you, do you want to just uh, get a square that away, my friend? And, um, um, find out, can you ask them where their property line is as well, please? Yeah, what, 
Sorry? That property line. Because obviously this road might be a private road, but obviously yeah, the, you got the Exeter Airport. Exactly, we got the Exeter Airport down there, so I don't know if they own it, if they own it or if it's public. They wouldn't get into the territory of is whether or not, even if you do remain in a public area, yeah, yeah. if your behaviour causes them harassment, alarm and distress, mm -hmm. whether or not we don't look at public or private fences. I don't but, want to really go down that route. I know. To be fair, I, I, not, I know in the back of my hand the, the what constitutes uh, public order offences section four, four A and five, and my behaviour does not constitute that at all. Um, okay. So you, you could, if you wanted to charge me with that and take yeah. me in for that, I don't, I it would be a no you further know. action. You'd end up with a civil suit against yourself. So I, you know, it wouldn't be worth it for anybody. Ultimately, though, what I can't have you doing is staying here all night, causing them to feel intimidated. No, like I said, once, once you guys have left, I was literally I went over there to get a shot of the building because I wasn't because I was getting bored and cold. Yeah. So I was literally stood there doing a pan of the building, doing an outro to the video, and then you guys pulled up. So once you guys have gone, I'll probably Presumably, stand where I'm... I'll, I'll stand. ask you to give me your name and details. You want to <laughs> no, I'm not, no. But, um, Obviously, if it, if it gets to the stage where I suspect you might be committing offences, I'll ask you, you do need to give me the... If you arrest me for it. If you arrest me it, under suspicion. Yeah, so me if you detain me, I don't have to. Yeah. If you arrest me under suspicion, so I, I have if to. If I suspect you have an offence, yeah. okay, be and you refuse to give me your details, yeah. that would then give me a necessity to arrest you. If you give me your details, actually the offence can be dealt with separately. Mm. Without an arrest, that's how. No, no, no. Under the law, you have to be. You, but once you're arrested, you're obligated to give your details. But you can't arrest me because I refuse to give my details. No, there's only there's only there's arrest. one piece of legislation in the UK that that says I have to if you suspect me of section 50. Exactly, exactly. That's the only one I have to. Like from my perspective, but, like to, to explain it how it would be functionally used. Yeah. If I suspect somebody's committed an offence. I need to deal with that offence potentially. Yeah. If I don't know who that person is, because they won't give me a name, address, details, mm -hmm. or anything like that, I then really have no option other than to arrest that person. Okay, so you take me in. Twenty four yeah. of case basically. Right. It covers all of that. The okay. For arrest and the necessities. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we're going to get to I suppose what it is, if I if I willingly give my details and then you could be like, right, it's not an offence that I need to bring you into the station right now because you're not no, causing no, any no. immediate so harm, you could come and find me later. Yeah. So refusing to give your details wouldn't be the offence. It would just then provide a necessity for the arrest. For the arrest, because to identify me at yeah. the station. Because okay. otherwise, how, yeah, yeah. how could I reasonably deal with it? You need to be in the yeah, yeah. things like that where possible. Yeah, yeah. Go to practice, so you should do that elsewhere other yeah. than arrest if it's practical and actually we don't need to arrest somebody. I see where you're coming from with that, yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, no, I get where you're coming from with that. I, I'm not here to argue but... with you. I, I know how the whole YouTube thing yeah, yeah. works. I find it quite interesting. Watching good, good. Time. Just out of interest, do you only upload the negative ones? Like no, no I went to um, I went to a police headquarters up in Cambridgeshire, um, did their headquarters and that, and I had a really, really positive interaction with PC Chris Hepworth. Um, and I uploaded that, and I made a point to really highlight that video because as much as... I mean, we just show what we see, really. Like, you guys have come out, you've been quite respectful. You know, just, you haven't uh, tried, you haven't tried to, like, uh, what I'm doing is I'm yeah, exactly. If it, if it gets to the point where you need to do things, then yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask you to do it. And if you don't do it, then I'm going to probably be telling you it must be in this course. Yeah, but. Um, Hopefully, we don't get to that. No, bit, well, exactly. It sort of but yeah, it's, it's when people come out straight away, guns blazing, like, you know, straight away. They, they didn't want to. I, I know that you get yeah. a lot of views of police officers doing things that they should Oh, the doing. negative ones? Yeah, they get more views, 100%. 100%. I went to the headquarters up here about three weeks ago in yeah. Exeter. Awful. Absolutely awful. Um, I think there's a certain element but, of understanding. Like, you can understand from a, like a policeman's point of view. I'm not suggesting you're doing anything like yeah. this, but if you've got somebody that just wanders into a police area, headquarters, police station, or whatever, I can understand why the officers are going to be a bit like, oh, hang on a minute, who are you yeah. and why are you here? Um, well, the thing is, I, I, I don't know if you've been to the headquarters up at Exeter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you drive around uh, sort of the back entrance sort of way, there's a sign there, there's a blue circle one that's got a pedestrian and cycle footpath sign on it. So I just carried on walking up there. I'd already been stopped on the corner by a PC. Had a bit of a conversation with that. I said, well, I'm just going to walk along pavement. I'm just going to stick to public, publicly accessible areas. Yeah. So I was walking up there. They got the barrier for the cars. It's controlled by uh, uh, security, yeah, security, that's it, yeah. But there's no barrier for the pavement or anything. There's no sign saying I'm no unauthorised access or anything like that. Um, so, you know, I said... I think that has now changed, hasn't it? There's some oh, well, three weeks ago there wasn't, because uh, that's, that's when I did it. Yeah, possibly, you might but, have caused that. Yeah, hopefully. I, yeah, but, hopefully. But, there's no point in me coming here doing things that I shouldn't do, being horrible to you. No. Being ridiculous when actually it just makes me look like a mug if I do that. Well, yeah. Well, it's, money, it's, it's, well it's, it's not even that it makes you look like a mug. That's not even the main point. The main point is that 
the police shouldn't be acting like that, you know. Yeah. You know, the, at the end of the day, I've got nothing against we, the police personally. Powers, exactly that. Act within your powers, act reasonable. Yeah. Things are a little bit less obvious. Yeah. A little bit more exactly. Than, uh, Until somebody's committed a crime or suspected yeah. of committed a crime, yeah. there's nothing the police can really do, but you know, apart from you, you liaise between. I know that you guys do budget research yourself. You probably educate yourselves quite a lot. Yeah. If we then come yeah. So yeah. Like if these guys are saying they don't want you on their premises, and yeah. You refuse to leave. I ask you to leave. You don't leave. And that would be based on the information on the report that we've been given. That we'll probably get to the point back like I don't know. I, I, if you agree or not, most people I, I, don't agree with Yeah, you, so. no, so aggravated trust has got to be obstructing or disrupting. If I were constantly knocking on the window, harassing them and stopping them, but if I'm just stood outside yeah. waiting for you guys, so, then I'm not, I'm not aggravated. Before, all right, again, I, I, I wasn't here. Yeah, no, of course. This is, what they, this, is this, this is the thing when they call the police, you yeah. get their side of it. Yeah. And we can help you get your side. Yeah. The truth tends to sit somewhere in the middle, doesn't it? Well, the truth sits on the camera. That's why we record. <laughs> Yeah, they've got all the fire trucks and yeah, the surface. They make allegations that you, if your behaviour is causing intimidation and mm-hmm. addiction of their activities, you're refusing to leave. Obviously, we have some suspicion, don't we? Yeah. I can never say this is happened. Sure. If it ever got to that point, I would opt to show you the footage on my camera before you before you decide arrest me and take me in. I would say, look, how about I stop recording? I'll, I'll say that you, I'd ask you to put your camera on. Uh, and I would. Camera runs anyway, so. Is it on? Is it? Yeah, it's been on for a long time. I did tell oh. you earlier on in the round. Ah, uh, I was going to say I didn't hear you turn, say that you turned it on. So, um, but yeah, it is what it is. But at the same time. But yeah, I forgot. I can understand it from their point of view as just like normal work. Yeah, yeah. They don't really want. Stranger outside no, literally, well, like that you can or can't. No, literally, if, they, if if when I'd said to them, like, oh, by the way, you're breaking GDPR, and now seeing, if they just said, oh, thanks for letting me know, no problem, I would have turned around and said, no worries, cheers, guys, and I would have been on my way because I saw them pick up the phone. And I'm like, okay, the police are coming, I don't want to waste your time. Yeah. If you're gonna, if they're gonna come out anyway, I don't want you then looking for me, wasting more time. So, in all, in all fairness, from that perspective, okay, yeah, you have scared up today, right? right? It's, it's females that you've approached in there. Right. They approached me. Your, your persona, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, that sort of thing. I get uh, the hood up, wasn't up, that's because it was raining. But yeah. That, she said they've asked you numerous times to leave the building, leave them alone. <laughs> Again, I just okay. said, if it goes to the point, I can show the show film. CCTV of them engaging with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so that effect. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you now to leave. Okay. Right? They don't want it any, to take it over. They just want you to leave, not to come back. Okay. okay cause, and they said, from their perspective, their GD, uh, GDPR, they follow all the rules and regulations that they need to do. Yeah, Whenever yeah. they leave a computer unattended, they lock it, all of that sort Yeah, of but stuff. even when they're on it, it's still visible from a publicly accessible area. Well, That's well, the point. What, you don't know what information's on there. It might be... Well, when I walked when I walk past, there was email addresses, there was people's names might and addresses. Yeah, but no, there was people's names and addresses on the screen. Yeah, yeah, I could see it all, you know. Yeah, yeah. Direct complaints. Yeah. Them. Oh, I will. Like, but the thing is, like, I like to just let somebody hear, though, so I don't have to take it all that yeah. high because I don't want to get them in trouble. Well, they're, they're doing that thing because then they can rearrange their desk so it's not facing the windows. You know, way, they, they probably aren't able to turn the screens around. But yeah. anyway, that's. But, yeah. I know that's, that's what I'm. Did you ask them where their property line was? Uh, yeah, they didn't give me that information. They wouldn't give you that information. Okay. Well, well, I don't know where their property is. I'm going to assume it's where this line is here in the in the road. That's what I was saying to uh, 7220. So I don't know your name. So I was gonna, um, obviously, they've got the airport and that down there. Mm-hmm. So I was going to stand on this bank here, do what I was doing as you guys came in, just yeah. go do a pan of the building, do an outro to my video, and I'm going to head on anyway, because that's what I was about to do. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming this is their property line, and with that up there, so you've got the access to the airport and that down there. Okay. And then and I'll be on my way anyway. Uh, so how, well, All right. When you say on your way, what sort of time do you look at? Minutes. So, so I'm just going to do an outro to the video, do a bit of a well, recap. Have to go in there chat one. So you, it's like yeah, yeah. you've got everything you want, have you? Yeah, there's, uh, yeah as long as they're aware that you know. what we don't want to be doing. Do you mean like you have caused harassment, alarm, distress? Okay, which well, is public order event. I was just saying, seven cents usual. I know all the. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, you, I know all the things for that. And about, my behaviour doesn't it's concentrate it's up here. Yeah, way. Come down to basically our suspicion. If what police yeah. ask gives us reasonable grounds to suspect you may have committed offence, we would then investigate it. Yeah, yeah. As part of that investigation. We find out that actually the points to prove for that offence have yeah. met. Then of course so then, then they like fire. Then, 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 then they get in trouble for filing false police reports. Then I've entered their building. Um, it's basically, based on the points to prove because the threshold that we have to reach, as you will know, will be beyond 
Yeah, but if I called you up and lied, so you've got here saying, uh, you so know, they've entered either somebody's entered my building. Yeah. yeah. Which is, obviously, like I said, all on camera. If the evidence suggests that actually what really happens with the natural evidence, yeah. Opposite, sorry. Yeah. Then, of course, we can look at offences of the bed. Yeah. On that part. But um, ultimately, any arrest we make is always on suspicion. Yeah. So the arrest itself, if that were to happen, wouldn't be an unlawful arrest because we would have the reasonable grounds to suspect based on the information we were given at the time. If later on the investigation but suggests that something else is happening. See, but then that's tricky, isn't it? Because your suspicion is based on one person's word against the other. So it's like saying you believe yeah, a, co yeah. a corporation, a business, over a member of the public. Suspicion is pretty much down here. Believe is quite a lot higher. Yeah. If I believe something, then I, I pretty much say I'm going to say that that's yeah. suspicion is actually quite a low threshold. Most allegations can only be suspicion, really, until they've been investigated properly. So it, it's one of those where... It's difficult. I, I totally get what, what yeah. your point is with it, actually. Yeah, I get it. But at the same time, I can raise questions, yeah. offences, and things like that. So, but, yeah, the only way that we can do it is to do it the correct way. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. So, ah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Hopefully, okay. uh, a positive interaction for your channel rather yeah, than yeah. a negative one. Yeah. It won't be edited too much either. No, no, I, I, I don't like so. Like, if anything, all I do is I fast forward bits trying to sit around, but I don't like to cut it out. People do most say, "Oh, just show the interactor." It's like, no, I like to show everything that led up to it because I don't want people thinking that I'm going to prod in people to get the reaction because I don't. I just can't stand around. People I, come I, to me. And I think yeah, you, you yeah. Know, I think these guys, their perception of it might be a bit different. They yeah, feel like they're prodded a bit. Oh, literally. That was your intention or not? No, literally, I just walked around the building and then they, she came to the door. As I was walking back around, she came to the door and I was like, oh, yeah, she's like, can I help? I was like, yeah, just like, you know, before your screens are on display and your door's open. And she just got all funny. I was like, oh, all right, cool. So, the plan now is. Like I said, yeah, just going to stand on this verge, do a plan of the building, do an outro, and I'll be on my way. I just got right. out and know that, all right? Yep. So that ain't no. no worries. I'll probably wait to get a shot of you guys driving out as well. But, <laughs> um, I would suggest if after we leave we get another call. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went on way cold enough as it is. Yeah, again, we will probably be returning. Yeah. And again, if, if they're substantiating an allegation that they felt harassed and they're yeah, yeah. by behaviour, then we need to consider dealing with a potential section 5 public order of defence. Okay. We need to go into detail uh, but, yeah. on why they feel harassed yeah, and yeah. stressed by your presence. But yeah, yeah. It's only fair yeah. that I have that discussion with you. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? Because if I was stood there and then uh, say I were here for an appointment and I was waiting to go in for an appointment, and I thought you said, I feel alarmed, ha harassed, and distressed because they've got their CCTV pointed at me. You need to give me a little bit more of a reason than that. So Exactly, you know what I mean? But I, I've not been spoken to them. Yeah, so no, I don't, I don't exactly. Know what but up. that's what I mean. Like, a person with a camera isn't enough for a POA. It's just not. You know, it's not enough for a POA. Some people, some officers try to use terrorism act, and there, there's uh, there's there's memos out about that in December 2021. You know, but yeah, it is. But it's just surprising how many people get detained and searched under it. But it's going to be bigger yeah. force, isn't it? Yeah. So you're a Honiton boy here? Nah, no, no. I'm not from Honiton originally. No, no, no okay. Else, miles away. I got born and raised. I haven't lived around here for uh, years. Just down visiting. But I was born and raised in Honiton. Where do live at the moment? Up in Cambridge. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I live up that way. Lived up there for going on eight years now. But, but, yeah, it's not too bad, actually. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. I find it, because obviously Honiton's a bit of a small town. But, yeah, Cambridge is like a bit like Exeter. It's not a massive city, and it's got so much green space around it. It's, like, it's a nice in-between between like a small town and a big city. Um, no, no, no. Question, so you obviously don't have to make these decisions all day. Is this your last stop of the day, or are you going to be heading anywhere else? Uh, yeah, no, it's going to be your last stop of the day. I'm actually back. There's a yeah, yeah. Cold and wet. I don't know if say. But oh, we've got Devon Air ambulance and that. So is that what they will go down to the airport thing down there? I don't know. So, so. yeah, because I've seen a few fire trucks and that going down there. So I'm assuming they store down there and that but
Alright, cheers guys. Right, but, obviously, like I say, at the moment, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, as I tell them, I'm going to hang around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of blind line and all stuff at the same time. If I don't think there is an effect, so I'm going to make one up. Cool, no worries. Right. Sounds like a plan. Right. Cheers, traps. There we go, guys. So, uh, that is the Eon site uh, just outside Exeter. Um, had a Decent couple of officers, really. You know, they had their hands in their pockets and that, which I noticed. Don't think the 7220 did let me know that it's body cams recording. Um, initially, he did eventually. But I think initially, I don't think he uh, did make that clear to me. But they weren't rude. Um, I'll say hands in their pockets, like I said. It's cold, it's raining, I'm not going to hold them to that at this point, you know. If they started being rude or unprofessional, then, you know, I would hold them to a stricter standard. But, other than that, yeah, they weren't too bad officers, you know. Um, can't grumble too much. Uh, and, uh, we we'll get a shot of them heading out. So there we go. So yeah, they didn't want to tell the police where their property line was. So they're not going to say where their property line is. I don't know where I can or can't stand. Like I said, I'm going to said to the officer, I'm going to assume that it's uh, at that line there, not on this grass verge bit here. So yeah, we've had some uh, Karens and Kens. All pulling out there, all coming out, calling the police and wasting their time. And uh, we'll give it those couple of minutes that uh, I said I was going to do an outro for. And uh, yeah, it's a shame. So, what I'll be doing is uh, sending an email to Eon's headquarters or whoever it is I need to contact, I'll look it up about their GDPR breach and their roof staff. Uh, 